going on, world? You know what I'm doing. Fucking some. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now I'm tearing some stuff down. Uh. Got another Cobalt. 24 volt. Because you know my last drill. If I can find it. Give me a second. There it is. My other Cobalt. But I don't know if you can see that. That little piece in the middle. It broke it in. So, whatever. Got the daily with me today. Ugly Betty. So right now, <clears throat> right now, let me turn this way because I know I'm pretty black. Right now, I'm going to take the oil pan, which uh, is that going to brighten up? There we go. I just redid the front crank seal gaskets, gasket and seal. So now I'm about to slop this oil, slop this oil upon on the motor, and then get to the rear main seal. Let me get right back at you boys. All right, let's try this again. Cause this here's, see if it'll zoom in. I'll focus, there. Yeah. This stuff here's really dirty. So, I'm gonna knock this out. You want to go nice and slow and take your time. It's getting there. It's a little burnt, but oh well. It's an old pan. if you guys can see that right where my thumb is at and I happen to hit this grinding block oh such a smart perfect smooth finish like right, we're gonna send it we're gonna take it on up through there right I don't know if you guys can see that right there. It's gone.
Now look at that finish. Looks a little cruddy, because I still got to clean it. But compared to what it did look like, like look at that. Oil pan is ready. <coughs> Oil pan is ready. So now it's time for me to start recording. So the oil pan is now on. So now the timely process of me dropping these bolts in here and getting a few cranks. So the motor is almost resealed. New head gasket, front uh, crank seal, and gasket behind it. New oil pan gasket, and I actually took the oil pump apart, the screen and the cap, and actually really cleaned it. Oh wow, I didn't see that. And actually really cleaned it because it had some crud in it. <clears throat> took some brake cleaner, sprayed in the uh, actual tube that shoots up the block, and spun it. So I got all the little crud out there. It was quite some crud in there, I'm not gonna lie. And I could have did a better job at cleaning this oil pan, but it's an oil pan. Who sees oil pans anyways? Alright, let's get that like that. Grab me something to clean these hands. Hands, hands. My extension. Get my thing on on. Another cobalt. 24, 24 uh, volts max. When I tell you this can bust a crank bolt off, no problem with a full charge, believe me. See, man, when you got a drill, man, everything's so much easier and faster. Uh-oh. All right. I'm going to do that by hand. I was actually thinking about taking this, uh, taking this drill back, honestly. So I didn't want to spend the money, but see my first mistake that I made. This thing is so fucking powerful. It be so small. And it's fast as hell, too. Like it has no problem knocking anything off. That's the reason why my other drill's broken, because... I gotta line this up like perfect. Drop more of these bolts in here, man, because I feel like I'm taking too long. Then after I get this done, I can send the flywheel out to the machine shop, get resurfaced, and then. From there, it'll be on to the actual car itself. Well, when I'm gonna get back at you guys, cause I ain't got time lapse or nothing like that. So when I when I get done, I'll be back. What's going on, my fellow E30 owners? Cause E30 is life and everything. This is the next day, same re different red shirt, same bummy haircut, but. So yesterday I did the front crank seal, oil pump seal, water pump, 
uh, oil pan gasket, pull the oil pump can as part as, as let me get my words together, I'm sorry. Pulled it apart as much as I can and got it all cleaned out with a bunch of brake cleaner. Um, hooked it up to a drill, submerged the actual the bottom, the pickup in brake cleaner and pumped it through it. Had a bunch of crud in it, I ain't gonna lie. Um, so this is where I'm at right now. Got the oil pan done. It's a little oily because it was still a little bit oil. And I got the rear main seal done and the gasket behind it. Oil pan gasket done. Front cake crank seal done, which is pretty easy. I haven't set the timing yet. Excuse the wind. So, then next, next is going to be the inside of this thing. And the one thing that scares me the most is my power distribution block. I pulled it apart, and I don't know what I did with all the bits and pieces. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to get this motor all buttoned up. And, um, yeah, get it done. So, like I said yesterday, scenes, 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 scenes. I don't have time lapse, so I'll get back at you boys. Progress update. What have I done? What have I accomplished? What did I mess up? I can't tell you that quite yet. <clears throat> but, I did get this done. I got the heads torqued down to 75 foot pounds. Got all the timing marks lined up. Timing mark is. Uh, that's super bright. Timing mark is here. And the other timing mark is here. I mean, it's off by like a millimeter, but once the slack get taken out, it'll tighten up. It ain't a pretty. It ain't pretty because I ain't been able to super wash it, but it's all together. You know, I got all this mess to clean up. But this is end of the day for me because I need to go home to go get my oldest from school. So tomorrow... I will start tackling the actual car itself. Now the real progress begins. Like I always say, you see it. Project keeps getting better, man. Don't forget that. It's your boy Project Guy signing out. I'ma holla at y'all boys.